fish and so clean. So fish and so clean. Ow! Well, today I'm in the bathroom and I'm about to give Luna a bath because she threw up in the car today. She, I don't know, she gets car sick a lot. I heard that puppies outgrow it, but right now, sometimes she does well, sometimes she doesn't, just depends. So she threw up and she has a little bit of vomit on her butt. <laughs> so I'm going to give her a bath really quick and I'm gonna show you the practices that we use to make it go as smoothly as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. If this is your first time giving your puppy a bath, I recommend first putting them in the bathtub without water so that way they can just get used to the environment. Then you just wanna turn on the water at a lukewarm temperature and don't put the drain down yet. Let her, the puppy get used to the water first. Just filled up the bathtub and you can see she's just submerged in her ankles. You don't want to fill it up too much. Now, the secret trick that I use to get her to stay in the tub is Kong tree or peanut butter. So I have both today, I might use both. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a little line. Whoopsie. On the tub, so that way she can stay busy licking that while I'm washing her. I am using this shampoo from Target. It's an odor control wall brand. You're gonna wanna use like a cup or a bowl to dip into the water to pour on top of your puppy. So when you're washing your puppy, you wanna make sure you do the head last because that will prevent them from shaking. I, I usually save the head for last. I just lather, lathered her up in some shampoo and now I'm gonna give her some peanut butter. This is the peanut butter we got in our bark box. If you wanna see that video, I'll put the link here. And then I'm also just draining the water, the dirty water. And I'm going to fill it up with some clean water to rinse her with. If you have a sprayer, like I just have like a regular shower head, I recommend getting a, a sprayer. Girl, you are so funny looking when you're wet. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry her off with a towel. You wanna make sure you have it ready to go right away. Oh, there goes the shake. Oh, shake it off. And I think puppies are so funny. After they get off or out of the bathtub for some reason, it triggers like a zoomies attack. Now I'm going to use something for her to chew on while I brush her out. I love this brush. I use it for her every single day. And so far I don't have any matting. I got this at TJ Maxx for like $4.99. I'm going to now use the blow dryer on low setting and warm or cool temperature. You don't have to blow dry your dog. I just like to do it because I feel like it makes her fluffier. So I just finished blow drying her. I got like 90% done because she's still, it's hard to get the front of her when she's chewing on something and she's all rambunctious right now so she won't really sit still. So I'll let that air dry and then I'll like brush it out later to like match with the rest of her, <laughs> the rest of her fluffy hair. Ow, don't chew my hair. But now I'm going to do my last finish, uh, my finishing touch and I'm going to use this Martha Stewart nose and paw lotion. You just put it on their paws for extra moisture. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to add her bow, which is so cute. The belly rubs, you want the belly rubs? Last but not least, the bow. Show everybody your bow. <gasps> Look at how cute you are. <gasps> See, I am so fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean. Ow! <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I love you so much. 
Thanks for watching, you guys. If you liked the video, subscribe, give us a comment, and then give us a like, and we'll see you on our next video.